G'day everyone. As we know, JSON has become the dominant medium now when it comes to storing unstructured data. It's become incredibly popular. However, for every JSON piece of data stored out there, there's probably an equivalent relational requirement. We have tools like Apex or reporting tools, business intelligence kind of tools, those kind of things that still expect their data to all be presented as rows and columns. Our JSON duality relational views, which come in 23AI, go a long way toward bridging the gap between these two sort of differing views of the data. But the reality is there's still plenty of legacy code out there that still wants to deal with rows and columns, even though the data might be stored as JSON. And in 23AI, we've done some facilities here to improve that uh, cross-dependency between the two. Let's look at an example. So I'll create a table here called department doc, and it's got a single column of JSON. And I'll insert just a simple row in there, just department name, department number, etc. It's, as you can imagine, a row from the department table in its relational guise. So I'll commit that away, and let's now create an equivalent peel SQL object type. It has the three attributes, department number, name, and location as well. I want to see whether I'll be able to have some nice, easy transposition between the PL SQL data type and the JSON data as well. In previous releases of the Oracle database, if I wanted to take that JSON information and store it into a PL SQL object type, then generally I had to go prize apart the JSON itself using things like JSON value, JSON query, etc., JSON table, and manually assign each individual attribute. In 23AI, it's far easier. I simply do a select JSON value, and notice now we've extended the JSON value function so it can return not just TLOBs or varchars, it can also return PL SQL data types. So it's returning the department row, and I simply do a select into. After that, the PL SQL object type has been instantiated just with a simple select statement. No more complexity in there at all. And it's the same for multiple rows in the JSON table as well. Let me insert a few more rows now. I've got department 10 in as a JSON format. I've got department 30 and department 40, all as JSON fragments into my JSON table. In 23AI, that's also trivial to bring into my PL SQL object data types. I've declared an array here of PL SQL objects, and now I just do a conventional bulk collect. Once again, JSON value returning the particular object type can also do a bulk collect into my table type in PL SQL. So with Oracle Database 23AI, whether you're dealing with JSON, whether you're dealing with PL SQL object types, or you have to deal with both, simply jumping back and forth between them has never been easier. You can now use either to best suit the needs of your business requirements. Enjoy.